I think this is going to be a very, very fun filming location for you today. And uh, it involves the Stillers, one of the Stillers. Uh, well, actually, let me backtrack. I remember if you uh, have been following this channel, King of Queens is uh, one of my favorite uh, comedies of all time with the Stillers there. Um, they, they just do, uh, are, are, are comedic uh, geniuses. It's just my my opinion. Comedic geniuses. And um, that being said, meet the parents. Ben Stiller. Comedy genius. We're going to be doing filming locations for uh, meet the parents. So, the 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 plot of this story is that um, you know um, Greg Parker, uh, you heard that right, is um, he's a he's a male nurse, um, a male nurse, and uh, I think it's in Chicago, situated outside of Chicago. He's in love. Um, and he wants to propose to his girlfriend, Pam. But uh, the plan is disrupted when they're invited to the wedding of Pam's sister at their parents' house in Long Island. Greg decides to impress Pam's, Pam's parents first. Why not, right? Get yourself in the, uh, the good uh, graces of... Uh, your future in-laws, or what you hope would be your future in-laws, but uh, unfortunate events um, kind of unravel, just bad luck. One event after another event after another event while he's visiting in uh, Long Island. And uh, it even gets to the point where, um, you know, the, the father is not impressed um, by Greg, played by Ben Stiller. And uh, he, he gives him a lie detector test. And then, you know, your movie kind of, um, you know, uh, centers around that, around that, you know, uh, hijinks, uh, so to speak. Uh, so we're going to, um, the house, uh, right now, and this is actually, uh, it, they're saying it's old Brookville, but this maybe p pops up as Glenhead on the GPS, to, um, the house, Pam's parents' house. Where the wedding was held. This is going to be a, a fun video. And um, subscribe, please, if you can. Um, you know, they actually say, by the way, that the house is in Oyster Bay. It's not in Oyster Bay. It's in uh, Glenhead or Old Brookville, actually. So, we're going to the house now. And uh, this is just the, uh, the the surrounding area, and I will see you in a bit. By the way, you know I'm sure that Greg not only was trying to impress his uh, future or what he hoped would be his future in-laws, um, he was. Uh, also, I'm sure, how can you not know, I mean, we soon found out that Jinx the cat was a very important part of the family, and well, I guess uh, you have to make nice with uh, Jinx the cat as well. <laughs> Doesn't help uh, that he nearly lost Jinx <laughs> permanently. About half a mile away from the burns, 
his house. The house uh, was actually just recently sold. Uh, they've been trying to sell the house since late uh, 2019. I believe the home sold for 2.3 and change. It was originally listed 2.7. So this is up the block now of what would be uh, Pam's house, uh, her, her parents' house rather. And uh, you know, that house, <laughs> I don't know if it helps, <laughs> maybe that's why the price dropped down and I always wonder like do people know like what this house was once used for so and on that listing of um, the Burns's house it was listed it said that it was in a most major motion picture which I think maybe might have been why the house dropped in the one price. quarter mile arrive at 93 pound hollow road on the right well, at least that's just People don't want uh, a lot of people are just coming in and clocking and taking pictures of their uh, house. But uh, you know, we're just gonna observe from the outside very nicely, politely, and be on our way. So Arriving house. at 93 Pound Hollow Road on the right. So the house is on the right, which should be over here. And uh, this would be the house, as you can see, a uh, little bit in the bushes. We're going to try to see if we could get a better shot of it. Uh, it's been fenced, obviously. Take the next left, then turn left. Um, so it looks like it's a cul-de-sac. Uh, yeah. Been fenced around. left that's as close as we're going to get folks oh yeah I have So we are, this is what was Oyster Bay. Um, it's called Oyster, Oyster Bay Drug Store. It's actually uh, Uncle Giuseppe's now marketplace. Um, on the corner of Port Washington Boulevard. Port Washington Boulevard and uh, Port Washington Boulevard because you can't read the sign. But uh, it's an area where So this is no longer a drugstore. Uh, it was Trun's 
closed after a hundred years it's now a um, Italian specialty store but this was the filming location of where Greg uh, came out through a doze doors right there you can see the uh, lady went through that door right there to buy uh, trying to find again a decent uh, bottle of champagne and he exits when he finds it he exits those doors and in the, the car parking lot which would be the equivalent probably of where this white SUV is um, he finds his father talking to a suspicious man and doesn't approach the vehicle right away, kind of um, just hangs out uh, nonchalantly. And this is the uh, the parking lot here. Let me just exit the parking lot that we get a better feel of how it looks like. Well, you can see straight ahead, it's blue awning now, before it used to be a black awning um, in the movie. It's called Victor Talbot's, I believe he, uh, back then it was called Victor Formals. But that is uh, where, and the building has been remodeled, that's where they went to get their wedding outfits, Mr. Burns and Greg. Tuxedo shop and Jack becomes convinced that Greg is a drug fiend. 47 Glencoe Grove, Greenville. And he, uh, Jack does have that pep talk with Greg. <laughs> in the, the fitting room give you an outside shot how the area looks like Victor Talbot's this is still an actual working uh, seal shop forty seven Here, so damn cool. So damn cool. Now, I apologize for uh, the house there. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Didn't expect the uh, the house to be um, completely fenced and uh, gated. All as well, though. On to the next one. There is Victor Talbot's. One last time. So uh, you're overlooking Manhasset uh, Bay. Still uh, sticking in to uh, Long Island. North Shore of Long Island. Let's just uh, stay here for a little bit before I show you uh, the next uh, location, which is 
really cool and I think if you're familiar with the movie you might very well know where, where we are. So I go down that road. Right now, give you a guide of uh, the area. This is uh, still Port Washington. Here is Louis parking. And uh, we're actually right in front of uh, Louis. And uh, <laughs> it's a pre wedding dinner. Jack finds out from a neighbor. That the uh, missing Mr. Jinx has already turned up. So, this is the Surf and Turf Waterfront Restaurant. It's actually Louis Oyster Bar and Grill, 395 Main Street, Port Washington. And, uh,. <laughs> Having found out all this, um, Greg is trying to get to the uh, house first before Jack does. And, uh, yeah. Oh boy, there's shenanigans. <laughs> but this is the restaurant that they were in, the pre wedding dinner. Louis Oyster Bar and Grill. Better view of it. What a nice day too, by the way. And uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you're new here, and if you're not, subscribe anyway. If you've seen this channel a few times. Subscribe if you haven't. Why haven't you subscribed? There is uh, there's the famous uh, Louis sign right there. That is Louis. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Damn cool. Stay tuned for the next scene, guys. Stay tuned. Hope you're having fun. Here we are. Uh, another famous scene. Downtown Port Washington. Main Street, um, where the uh, race scene happens between uh, Herbert on Main, Main Street and Herbert, uh, where it begins, which is uh, right here, as you can see. gonna go straight down so the scene goes from where that green truck is turning the racing that's Herbert and it goes all the way to the first light which is right there by uh, the on the corner And they're racing back home. Craig and Jack, they're racing back home. And, uh, you know, they're trying to race each other between red lights along Main Street, which is, again, 
what you're looking at. So that's the first light. And then eventually uh, they make a That's your first light. Not that big of a stretch, as you can see. That's the uh, first light. As we turn around, and uh, right there is the second light very very short distance and at that second light now uh, that's where we see uh, Jack adjust his glove Greg uh, that famous uh, eye flitch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we are at that intersection now, and at the third intersection, uh, at this intersection, not the third, but at this light, Jack's, Jack makes a left, and uh, Greg rolls straight. Jack made a turn on uh, South Maryland. And now Greg going straight down uh, Main Street. And uh, one last time, this is how the Boulevard looks. Where we had the famous racing.